Foundation. So this uh, cedar technology study was, was basically initiated because um, we had a lot of growers asking questions about how low can I go with my seeding rate and we wanted to, to test that, the theory that the, you can decrease your plant populations and uh, see what the effects are. We know that you can decrease your population to a, to a certain amount and not impact your yield but we want to look at other variables such as maturity, um, such as harvestability and uh, you know as well as the, you know insect and weed pressures as well. Um, the one one thing that we we would uh, like to do is is cover across a broad geography. So we've uh, initiated 24 trials across Western Canada, and we're looking at the newer technology drills um, where we're where where they you know are getting better placement with the seed, and we're, we want to see if if survivability is uh, increasing enough that that we can decrease the populations, and then if if we do that, what effect we're going to have on on the uh, on the crop with with not only yield but the agronomic factors so we're standing in a plot where we're uh, looking at different cedar technologies um, this is uh, seeded at seven pounds and you can see we have a phenomenal stand uh, great great establishment the plants are growing vigorously um, and uh, starting to close with close ground cover <coughs> plot number two and this was seeded at at five pounds an acre and you can see the stand is definitely a little thinner. I, I'd still be happy with the with the stand here, but you can see the ground is not quite covered as much as in, in the seven pounds. Um, but there's still a, a lot of plants, and uh, the, the stand is uh, still growing vigorously and looking quite nice. Um, this the seed uh, was all uh, had a seed size of 5.9 TSW, so a fairly large size seed. So we, we expect as we decrease in seeding rate we're going to see a lot thinner stands. So we'll move on to three pounds now. So here we are in the three pound per acre seeding rate and you can see that there's even though there is lots of plants in some spots it's very susceptible to areas where there's lots of trash cover. Um, you'll see that there's large messes here where there's no plants at all and uh, and this is uh, basically pl uh, places where weeds can invade. Here you see some buckwheats that, that are uh, Going to be growing through, and because there's no crop competition, those those plants are gonna gonna grow and uh, fill in that space. You can see that, uh, a lot of buckwheat uh, coming in underneath. And uh, in a, if we had a full canopy there, those ones would be uh, covered over with uh, with the crop and and not uh, be of any consequence. But in this situation where they have space to grow, they they'll continue to grow throughout the season and can cause problems later later on at harvest time.